What began as a quiet routine in deep space has turned into one of the strangest stories in the history of astronomy. Something remarkable is unfolding beyond the reach of every telescope on Earth. An event so unexpected it's forcing scientists to rethink what it means to make contact. A spacecraft launched nearly half a century ago, humanity's oldest messenger, Voyager 1, has been linked to a mysterious alignment with an interstellar visitor, an object from beyond our solar system known as 3I Atlas. Voyager 1 left Earth in 1977, a simple machine designed to explore the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, their moons, and the vast emptiness beyond. After finishing its grand tour, the probe didn't stop. It just kept going, carried by momentum and a little bit of luck, into the infinite dark. In 2012, it crossed the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the solar wind yields to the interstellar medium, becoming the first human-made object to truly leave the solar system. It was a ghost ship drifting through the void, powered by a nuclear heart that still beats faintly more than 23 billion kilometers away. Decades passed in silence. Then, in July 2025, astronomers detected something new, a faint, fast-moving object cutting through the background stars on a hyperbolic path. Its speed was extraordinary, its origin unmistakable. It wasn't from here. They named it 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed after 1I slash Taumuamua and 2I slash Borisov. Like its predecessors, it came from the deep beyond, but early data hinted that this one was different, bigger, brighter, stranger. Its light curve was erratic, its jets pointed toward the sun instead of away, and its chemical fingerprints, carbon dioxide, cyanide, nickel, but almost no water, defied everything scientists thought they understood about comets. At first, it was just another cosmic curiosity. But then, something changed. Multiple independent trackers noticed that as 3I Atlas passed through the outer solar system, its trajectory was crossing dangerously close to the ancient path of Voyager 1. The geometry was almost poetic. Two travelers, one born of Earth, one from the stars, passing within a fraction of a degree in apparent position, separated by unimaginable distance but aligned by fate. It should have been nothing more than coincidence. But deep inside NASA's deep space network, a decision was made. Sources close to mission operations claim that engineers quietly recalibrated Voyager's high-gain antenna not to steer the craft that hasn't been possible for decades, but to adjust its listening orientation, aligning its instruments with the predicted trajectory of 3I Atlas. Officially, it was routine maintenance. Unofficially, it was the first human attempt to observe an interstellar object from interstellar space. Days later, strange data began to appear. Earth's magnetometers registered a faint but measurable pulse, not a solar flare, not cosmic background noise, but a directed wave of electromagnetic energy echoing back from the outer heliosphere. It lasted less than an hour, then vanished. Soon after, Voyager's plasma wave detector recorded a series of oscillations unlike anything in its 48 years of operation, rhythmic, harmonic, repeating every 19.7 minutes. At first, it was dismissed as interference. The probe's ancient instruments have produced their share of static and error codes, but when analysts cleaned the signal, they found symmetry. The waveform wasn't random. It was structured, almost mathematical, as if it were adapting to the probe's failing antenna. Something out there was mirroring Voyager's call, returning an echo that evolved each time the pattern repeated. Inside mission control, the mood shifted from curiosity to unease. Because for Voyager 1 to receive anything that strong, the source had to be nearby and powerful. Either 3I Atlas wasn't just a frozen rock drifting through space, or something else entirely was transmitting from its direction. The engineers compared the pattern to known pulsars, magnetars, and plasma interactions. None matched. The frequency was too stable, the harmonics too deliberate. Then a discovery that turned speculation into obsession. Embedded within the harmonic sequence was a series of repeating prime intervals, a universal mathematical fingerprint 
the simplest possible signal to say, this is intentional. It wasn't language. It wasn't code. But it was undeniably structured. NASA never confirmed it publicly, but several independent researchers reported seeing the same rhythm reflected in open Voyager telemetry. They called it the echofraction signal. For the first time in half a century, Voyager wasn't just sending data home, it seemed to be part of a dialogue. What made this even more unsettling was what followed. Ten days after the alignment, Voyager's transmission angle shifted by two degrees, a movement no one had commanded. In deep space, that kind of deviation is enormous. The probe had changed its pointing vector, not toward its current target, but toward where 3 I Atlas would be weeks later, as if predicting its future position, as if following it. NASA called it a calibration error, but telemetry logs revealed no command uplink. The adjustment happened before any ground instruction could have reached it. To this day, no one can explain how a 1970s spacecraft, operating on minimal power, reoriented itself with that precision. As Voyager's angle changed, new reports began flooding in. Observatories tracking 3I Atlas noticed a faint but measurable decrease in its velocity, a deceleration of nearly 0.3 kilometers per second, defying gravity, solar radiation pressure, and everything we know about orbital mechanics. Nothing natural could account for it. Comets accelerate when heated by sunlight. They don't slow down, yet this one did. Some called it coincidence, others called it communication. And then, something even stranger surfaced. Data analysts noticed that the harmonic pulse detected by Voyager mirrored patterns found in the audio spectrum of the Golden Record. The message humanity attached to both Voyager spacecraft as a greeting to any intelligence that might one day find them. The record's analog grooves contain not just music and sounds of Earth, but mathematical patterns, hydrogen wavelengths, binary sequences, and prime numbers. When overlaid on Voyager's recent telemetry, the alignment was uncanny. The harmonic pulses arriving from 3I Atlas matched the record's encoded hydrogen frequency down to three decimal places. Had something recognized the language we sent to the stars in 1977? No one can say for certain, but within weeks, more anomalies appeared. SETI's Allen Telescope Array briefly redirected computing power to the same frequency band as the Voyager signal, then went silent. Live data streams disappeared, citing maintenance. When the servers returned, the spectral logs from the alignment window were gone. At the same time, a university group in Japan published a preprint proposing that interstellar visitors like 3I Atlas could be part of a galactic seeding network. Technological relics left behind to awaken when they detect electromagnetic patterns resembling artificial intelligence or directed communication. Their hypothesis was radical, that these objects are not travelers, but dormant sensors, waiting for a trigger. Voyager's signal, carrying the mathematical structure of the golden record, could have been that trigger. While the scientific community largely dismissed the paper, the coincidence remained chilling. Voyager's realignment, 3I Atlas's slowdown, the harmonic echo, each could be explained individually, but together they painted a picture too deliberate to ignore. And then came the final twist. A dataset appeared anonymously on an encrypted astrophysics server. It contained what looked like raw waveform data magnetometer readings, timestamped within the same window as Voyager's alignment event. When processed, the data revealed a recursive structure, a pattern repeating, refining, and evolving every 19.7 minutes. The waveform appeared to self-correct signal degradation, as if learning. Whoever leaked it vanished soon after. Their credentials erased, their accounts deleted. The file was removed, but mirrors of it spread across private research circles. Those who examined it came to the same eerie conclusion, this was not random noise. The pattern behaved like an adaptive signal, something actively responding to Voyager's transmission. Meanwhile, the faint electromagnetic pulse that started it all never fully faded. 
Even today, deep space monitoring stations report a subtle oscillation in the same frequency range, pulsing like a heartbeat, consistent, patient, and perfectly synchronized with Voyager's transmission cycles. Some interpret it as nothing more than feedback, an echo from the solar wind. Others see it as the first sign that we are not alone, that two messengers, one born of Earth, one from another star, briefly found each other in the dark and exchanged a message neither was meant to send. If that's true, then Voyager 1, our oldest spacecraft, has accomplished something extraordinary. It has become the bridge between worlds. The universe has finally whispered back. But if the harmonic pulse wasn't a greeting, if it was something else, a warning, a calibration, or a countdown, then what comes next may be beyond anything humanity is ready for. The stars are no longer silent. They've heard us and for the first time they've answered.